What's up guys, it's Kerbex. Sorry about the uh, the rain on the lens. That's due to it being January in England and it's been snowing. Um, today, this is called Horncliffe Manor and we're gonna be going inside for a look around. There's a bit of rain just there, sorry about that. Uh, we're in the, I think the West Pennines, um, in between Edenfield and Rottenstall. And we're gonna go and have a look at Henry Hardman's home, basically. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. That's part of it. That's part of it. And over there, somewhere over there, that's part of it as well. We're just going to have a look in the hall a bit now. Apparently it used to be a hospital, a hotel, and other things. I'll tell you about that later on. So, this place is a grade two listed mansion built by one of the region's richest industrialists and it's gone up for sale. Uh, I'm not too sure what the price is or what, what it's starting at or anything like that, but I do know it was built in 1869 by the famous mill owner Henry Hardman. And to be fair, he's done quite a good job because it's still standing today. Obviously the floor inside that mansion over there is a bit rotten so it's a bit unsafe to go in but I'll show you inside this hall now been in the inside there and if you if you was to live in it you the views you would see from the windows are spectacular now I think I might maybe have some pictures if I've got some pictures I'll drop them in if not I won't but it is such a nice place it's a shame it's all fallen down as you can see behind me there that's the actual Horncliffe Manor or mansion um, but if you if you were interested in buying it, it is up for sale. Also, it comes with 20 acres of land, which is obviously behind us there. That's a lot, that 20 acres. Um, and it's it's quite a picturesque place, really. But there is also an abandoned Jaguar graveyard here, along with some other cars, which I'm going to come and show you now. Some more debris. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. This lens isn't really made for zooming in, but can you see that? And if you look up there, we're gonna have a look at that car in a second. It's rather cold for the West Pennines, um, but this it's also known as the abandoned Jaguar graveyard. Now, if you look behind me, there's a Jag, there's a Jag, there's a Jag over there, there's a Nissan there, but there's another Jag over there. Let's go and have a closer look at them. It's quite interesting really as to why they've been dumped here. But, oh, it got a bit dark there. But let's just keep walking through it. Sorry if the camera's shaking. Look at this. There's another one. There's another one. They're just dotted around everywhere. It's crazy. I don't understand how, how did you acquire so many of the same vehicle. And how have they ended up here? That's what I'm doing. And in the back of here, look. There's another one. It's why? It's very strange. But I think as well, there's like a little spring that's running through here. Um, it wasn't here last time I came, but I'll just try and show you that in a second. Now before, you may have heard me mention a little stream. So if I just put the camera down here, you can see the water running there from under that other Jaguar. A bit bizarre that. Well, let's go and have a look over there and see what other graveyard cars there is. I'm just going to show you the other side so you can see how many cars there is just dotted around here. And there's some more further up there. As you can see there there's a Mini Cooper 
There's another Mini Cooper there. Some old Luton van, by the looks of it, a Mercedes. An old Mercedes. Look at them. Look at that on the, on the side. British Open Classic. Quite sad, really. They could have been restored then. So this is inside one of the buildings. Whoa! Fucking hell, break your neck. Have a little... I wonder why they blocked that off with that. Is it worth going down, do you reckon? Or? Yeah. So I'm just going to walk down these stairs now in the... It looks like an outbarn type of building. Hopefully... Oh! Health and safety at nightmare. I'm guessing this would have been some sort of pantry where they keep, you know, because it's cold underneath. Yeah. Where they keep the, the like the well, in the olden days, where they keep the butter and stuff. And I don't know if they had butter back then. Mm. And that would have been like the living room, maybe front door. And I would go upstairs, but the stairs look a bit. Three stories. Three stories. Yeah. Well, do you know what I did read that it said it comes this 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 particular site comes with 20 acres of land, and apparently there's over 20 rooms in all the buildings in your in total. Yeah. Just found another building. Let's have a peek inside. Oh, wow! Look at them old wooden pillars. Uh, not pillars. Wooden be um, the wooden version of an RSJ. Look at that, and they're only now just starting to rot. Obviously, just going to walk through here a little bit, oh, nearly tripped over. A bit more review of this little barn. Oh, it's nice. Look at the scaffolding poles there in the middle. Let's go up these stairs and have a look up there now. Let's go up these stairs. Look at that. A modern building would fall down, probably, if it was left. Well, these, they still stay standing. It's amazing. Another building there. I'm not too sure what it would have been. Because there's not too much history on this place. But, have a look at this railing. Oh, they're definitely old. Just come back into this, this uh, house, barn, whatever it is. Does anybody know what they would have been for? Got like a mechanism on the outside, like chains and stuff. I'm not too sure what they are though. But I'm just going to show you them beams again because I like them. So if you were to buy it, <clears throat> not too sure how much it's going up for, but it comes with 10,000 square feet of like gardens and stuff. And then you get 2,000 square feet of basement space as well. Um, I'm just going to show you inside this, uh, this part of the... Um, this part of the mansion, which is, I'm guessing it's like an old fridge, because obviously it's built in 1869, so they would have had to put the food somewhere. I'm guessing it would have been in this like pantry style fridge freezer. All right, so now I'm gonna take you inside Horncliffe Mansion, show you what's left. Obviously it's all pretty destroyed. Because vandals have been in there and wrecked it. Look at the size of it. Jesus Christ. You can't really see that because the, the torch is powerful enough, but it's all collapsed in. Wow. Oh, and look at that staircase there. Wow. Everything's just destroyed and ruined. 
Oh my god, wow. Look at that. Wall fascia board, whatever it is. Wow. There's the front doors. By the looks of it, an old fireplace. Now, I can't really find too much about this on the internet, but I do want to go up them stairs. So one of my mates has just pointed out, if you look up there, you can see there's actually a painting that's been left. Undamaged as well, but it's probably a bit water damaged, but oh, I need to swap to my zoom lens so you can get a better picture. I might drop a picture in actually, I'll, I'll take a picture on my phone and I'll drop that in instead, but wow. There are the old door frames by the looks of it. Look at the stairs there though. Absolutely rotten because the windows have been smashed on the top. But let me just show you in here. I don't know if it's the original. Can you see the green tiles? It looks like an old fireplace. Look at that. Fucking hell. It's amazing. And then this is one of the spiral staircases. Well, it's not a spiral, it's like an, a square shaped spiral staircase. Again though, we can't go up because the woodworm and, and the weather and stuff has gotten to the wood and ruined it, but just trying to show you, look at that. So I've just been pointed out, that there is the switch for this elevator. Look at that, I didn't even know they had elevators back then. That's the shaft. There's the old rusty mechanism. And then, wow. Don't make a trust that. It does look, actually, it could be a modern elevator that. It's got a belt, but I'm not sure. But the uh, the door bit is definitely old. Look at that. Fucking filthy ones. And that's the elevator door when it's shut. Look at that archway, guys. The craftsmanship and the hardware would have gone into that. Just for this one building alone. Is unbelievable. The basement. It's a three story building, isn't it? Yeah, it's a three story building. I've not been in the basement yet. There's another staircase there. Including the basement, it's four story. Yeah, so including the basement. See, the problem with going upstairs, guys, is look at that. The floor, you're probably just going to come straight through it and end up in AE. But yeah, as I was saying then, it's including the basement, it's four storeys altogether. It's mad that, to be built in 1869 as well. Four storey gap. So Matt's going to take us now down into the basement. Wow. Look at that, there's another one of them old wooden RSJs. Fucking hell. So this is the basement. Wow. Again, I'm probably guessing. Oh! Did they have laundry chutes in the 17th century? I said before that was the boiler. If you look there, there is actually some sort of like stop tap connected to pipe which comes through here and then comes through there. Runs in that, so it must have been the heating or the boiler. I've just hit my head. And if you're wondering what they are, then that's to hold, they put a piece of wood over the metal which would have gone in there and that would have held, well, stop people from breaking into the the actual property. I think this is one of the last rooms to show you. Oh. Again, more pipe work. That's modern pipe work, that though. And 
Uh, but yeah, it's 2,000 square foot of basement space. An old sink there, by the looks of it, has been smashed. The Batman logo. There we go, there's another one of them elevator doors, all shut this time. Same amount of graffiti. That would have been, obviously, the, the button, but does this one open? No! Look at that. Maybe an old light, I'm not sure. So the room that I'm in at the moment is being held up by these, um, I don't know what they're called, like props, scaffolding props. Strong boys. Strong boys, that's what it's got, like me, strong boy. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, I can't believe in the state that it's, it's, it's a grade two listed building as well, and, it, and the state that it's in for a grade two listed building is, is appalling really. But, Just going to show you over here. Just put the torch on. There we go. Look at that old brickwork there. Look at that. And then the, the pillars in here are actually looking slightly better than the rest of them. But look, they've still all got these supports, and uh, they've got this weird sort of ratchet strap. If you can see that there. This torch is a bit bright, but uh, they've got ratchet straps like tensioned up, holding them. Oh, so we took a bit of a risk coming in here, guys. I'll show you this. So we've just come out of that room there where the chains were on the wall, and there's this like long, if you can see there, it's like a long sort of stone worktop. Now, the mill owner, who apparently was a bit famous for the time that he was around, well, what was he called? Henry Hardman. Hardman. Henry Hardman. I'm guessing that this is Henry Hardman's maybe where they prepared food for him. And then using that lift that we've seen earlier, they would have brought it up to him. But I'm, I'm just speculating. But it's still, it's quite interesting to see that. Alright, so we've been around the entirety of the building and the land. The only bit we've not been to um, is the front of the house and the little garden section at the side. But this has been the basement and I think it's about time to get out of here. Alright, so we've just got out of um, out of the inside of Horncliffe Manor. I'm now going to take you around the front and show you the front of the building. And uh, well, yeah, just show you the front really. So I'll take you around there now and show you that. On the way to the front, I'm just going to show you from this angle. This is uh, would be the right hand side of the building. Um, I love the way the old buildings are made, it's just so, so pretty. Alright, so I'm just walking past now the front section of the house. You'll have to excuse all the, the vandalism and the, the paint, the blue paint that's on it. Just have a look at that. That is magnificent. I love, I love the way the, all the old brick, the stonework, sorry, not brick, but the old stonework was done. And I'll just give you a quick little, this is what you can see. Oh, you can't really see much because of the sun. But it's got some nice views there. Over there, there's the tower. But I'll just continue to walk this way now to show you the front. Look at that. Such a nice building. It's a shame someone threw blue paint all over it. Um, but yeah, look at that. I love this place, man. I've come here. It's like the fourth time I've been here now. Fifth time, fourth time. Nice, isn't it? And if I'll just show you this way now. Garden section, which I'm going to show you around in a sec. I'm just going to get some pictures of it. Isn't it just such a nice place? I'll just show you the, 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 the drive. So we had quite a big drive, it's quite big, isn't it? Some trees that have been chopped down because they were going to fall over. But it is such a nice place. Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover because the wind there was ridiculous. And in this clip, I'm just showing you. An extension. I'm not too sure if it's old or new, but the tiles on the floor were remarkable. And you can see there used to be a roof there. All right, you'll have to excuse the wind for this last bit, but it's been Kerbex, Martin Zero, Horncliffe Mansion, 
Uh, it was built in 1869, I've probably told you that about 400 times already, but it's one of the things that's just sticking in my head. It's been a great place to come, document, um, and if you liked it, you can hit the subscribe button if you want. I'm not, but if you enjoy me and this chap here, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Now, I'm just going to leave you with a few clips, and I want to say thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, subscribe.